From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about in the big one today. Diana Fry will stay behind bars. Don't have any information yet on just what happened, leading to her pickup under arrest by federal marshals at the end of last week. Fry, of course, the woman who was in charge of code, Cincinnati Middle Managers Union, and was convicted of embezzling $750,000 from that union. She's been free, waiting sentencing, but not any longer. Now, she was not brought into court today. Judge Susan DeLott will ultimately sentence Fry in the next few months. She's looking at 20 years in prison on the embezzlement charge. For now, it appears she will stay behind bars for violating the terms of her release. Trick or treating in the tri state today. Most communities are going to do it from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock tonight. There are a few exceptions. Aurora will start at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Afternoon. Some other communities, Middletown, Monroe, Goshen, going from 5.30 to 7.30. Police are warning people if you're going to be driving home from work about the time the trick-or-treaters hit the streets to watch for the people out in costume. Tonight, they say, is a night when kids are four times more likely than any other night to get struck by a car. No paranormal activity this morning in Claremont County. There was an accident at the scene of to of an intersection that some say is the most haunted place in Ohio, 125 and 222. Now, the person involved in the wreck this morning, car flipped over, didn't report anything unusual in the roadway there, and he wasn't hurt, but it's been the spot where people have reported seeing a faceless hitchhiker in the past and a couple of cars that were involved in a collision back in 1969. That accident at that intersection near Amelia resulted in five deaths. Police have said that they've never noticed any paranormal activity, but there is a whole lot of information out there on the web about that supposedly haunted place. Woman's facing charges now in connection with the murder in Carthage. This happened late last night. In fact, two people were found shot to death in a home on West North Bend, but Don McFadden's only charged with killing one of them. He is identified as Corey Coleman. Now, Leroy Coleman was killed as well, but no charges have been filed on his murder. As soon as we get more information, we'll post it at our local news page here at 700WLW.com. Are the Bengals for real? 5-2 and two on the season already. More victories than they had all of last year. But there are some national experts today trying to rain on the Bengals parade, saying that their record is just a product of an easy schedule. In fact, SI.com reports today that both the Bengals and Bills are playoff pretenders, saying they won't be around once the season ends. Bengals have to face teams that are 18 and 11 in the month of November, including the Ravens and the Steelers. Records of the teams they faced in October were just the opposite. Bengals play again next Sunday, 4 o'clock, kickoff against Tennessee. You can hear all the action once again here on the big one tonight. Bengals line on 700 WLW. It starts at 6, and it comes live from the Banks at the Holy Grail there. Tonight's guests include Andy Dalton, Bengal rookie quarterback, as well as Adam Jones.